The governor here has pushed to make changes, securing our schools, and one year later he is still pushing. New at 6, I spoke with an educator, a mom, and an activist about what they think needs to be done because we have got to protect our kids. As long as our politicians do nothing, as long as they send thoughts and prayers and no action, we are not safe. Truly, truly, um, Parkland was Parkland was a sea change, and the kids are the kids are making an impact. Jerry Hills is the founder of Arizonans for Gun Safety. She works on local and national efforts to curb gun violence and create public policy to make our world safer. And there are three major policies that can make a huge difference, and research is showing this. And that is universal background checks, safe storage laws, and red flag laws. And I think if we could do those three common sense things, we could make a huge impact on gun violence uh, um, among our children in our state. Hills says progress is slow, but she sees change coming as more people join the fight to end gun violence. Well, my call to action was after Sandy Hook and I still can't even say the words without getting teary-eyed. Geneva Haber was one of 200 moms with Moms Demand Action. They are lobbying state lawmakers, asking them to support a bipartisan bill which takes guns away from anyone convicted of misdemeanor domestic violence offenses or has a restraining order because of a domestic violence incident. We feel that collective power not only at the Capitol, but across the entire country, because we know that moms are not going to be deterred when it comes to protecting our children. Passing any bill which limits access to guns is always a challenge in Arizona, but one bill where there is bipartisan agreement and support from the governor is hiring more school counselors, professionals who can help identify troubled students. We've been talking about it for years and years and years, but now I think people understand the context of, of why you need professionally trained adults on campus that can keep kids on track for graduation. So one year after Parkland, my guests all say there is much more to do to ensure our children are safe when we say goodbye to them and send them off to school. We cannot wait until we have an active shooter on campus to define what safety is. Tonight, March for Our Lives Arizona will be holding a vigil for Parkland at Madison Meadows Middle School in Phoenix. That starts in about 10 minutes at 630.